Hello everyone. Today we are going to solve this number theory problem. Find out all integer solution to the equation 3 to the power x minus y cube is equals to 1. This question is very suitable for IMO, RMO and PRMO. Um, how to start this question? First let's analyze the parity and see what happens. So if I see here, 3 to the power is always odd and it gives us odd result. It means clearly y must be even. Right? So first thing, so let y is equal to 2k for some integer k and rewrite this question again. So again, so this gives me something like 3 to the power x minus 2k cube is equals to 1 and then 3 to the power x is equals to 2k to the power cube plus 1. And using a cube plus b cube formula, I can write Let's factorize this. This gives me 2k plus 1 and 4k square minus 2k plus 1. Right? And clearly 4k square minus 2k plus 1 is more than 2k plus 1 ok more than or equal but when I consider k more than 0 this is the case both are clearly more than 0 hence I can write Hence, I can factorize uh, something like 2k plus 1 and 4k square minus 2k plus 1 is equals to 3 to the power x let 4k square minus 2k plus 1 to the 3 to the power something and 2k plus 1 3 to the power b right now here clearly a is greater than b i have taken let add both the equation. If I add both the equation, what I will get is 4k square plus 2 is equals to 3a plus 3 to the power b. Now if I factorize 2, it becomes 2k square plus 1. Now because a is greater than b, I can factorize these are 3 to the power b in bracket a minus b plus 1. And now if you clearly see here, this is an odd number, this is even, and GCD of both this is 1. Clearly, if GCD of this side is LHS is 1, then GCD of RHS must be 1. And because this is even number and this is odd number, right? And this is clearly always odd. It means this must be and this is always even because anything to the power 3 plus 1 is always even. And because this should be both sides same, 1. We can equate that this 
expression must be equal to this one and this expression must be equal to this one. Right? Hence, I can write that Hence, I can write that 2 equals to 3 to the power a minus b plus 1. And if you solve this question, this gives a minus b is equal to 0. Therefore, a is equal to b. We got our first information regarding a and b it means both here the expressions are both same right because this is also a this is also a so both the expression must be equal because a is equals to b now solving this gives me k into k minus 1 is equals to 0 therefore k is equals to 0 or k is equals to 1 now we know because y is equals to 2k and it, it gives me the value of y as well 0 or y is equals to 2 very nice we got the value of y now we have to find the value of x only Using the value of 0 and 2 in this equation, if y equals to 0, then 3 to the power x minus 0 cube is equals to 1. Therefore, x is also 0. And if y equals to 2, then this is 2 q and therefore x is also 2. So here clearly you see that we got only two value for x and y and both are equal. So finally the solution to the above equation in integer is either 0 and 0 or 2 and 2. This is for today. I hope you like it. And if you have any alternative method, comment down in comment below and we'll see next time.